Today is a tale of two Matts, with Matt Wright and Matt Helica putting up two desperate, bold trad routes at opposing ends of the country. Matt Wright has made the first ascent of a new E10 7A at Pavey Arc in the Lake District. The route is just next door to Neil Gresham's E11 Lexicon that Matt also repeated last year. The route was a project of Kendall resident Charlie Woodburn. Now Charlie's no stranger to danger, he's climbed seven E9s, but his issue with this was partly the level of boldness and partly to get the consistency in in order to climb the route safely, because this isn't a safe route. The entire route is within the no fall zone and even from the start falling would be a big issue because the ground isn't flat, there's a steep ramp beneath and if you did fall, you're just gonna keep tumbling backwards. We'd heard rumors of the crux being around font 7C+, but we asked Matt to clarify. He said, the route certainly has a definite crux, but it's better being described as a power endurance French 8A+, in my opinion, though Charlie referred to the entire hard climbing as a font 7C+. It starts with a tricky boulder, font 7B, and for this, you're less than two meters away from the gear, there's a lot of rope in the system and you're going to bounce down the slabby corner should you fall. It's quite possibly one of the best positions I've been in on a route before. This upper section is maybe a short 7C in its own right. Some people on the UKC forums have asked why it's a grade easier than Lexicon in spite of its danger. And the reason is quite simple. If the French grade is indeed as Matt suggests at around French 8A+, this is significantly easier than Neil Gresham's Lexicon, which comes in at a French grade of 8B+. Whilst Lexicon's far from safe, it's a lot safer than magical thinking. Hopefully for those of you outside of the UK, that makes the British grade make slightly more sense, or it could just add to the confusion. However, whilst the UKC forums are usually all up for a grade debate, the grade wasn't the main focus of people's attention. The main focus was around how Matt was wearing sunglasses on what appeared to be a shady day in an otherwise quite dank and dark lake district. And Matt joined in on the forums to inform people why, and the reason was this. I permanently wear sunglasses outside, even if it's cloudy, as I'm light sensitive and get headaches if I don't have them on. A really simple answer to a slightly strange question, but thanks for getting involved, Matt. What makes it all the more remarkable is how quickly Matt climbed the line. He took a look six days before he completed the route, with three sessions in between to get it all dialed. At the end of the third day, he called his mate Will in order to get a belay, and Alistair Lee, the Brit Rock film tour, in order to come and film the ascent, which he eventually went on to make. Perhaps what makes this ascent all the more remarkable is that Matt had taken a two and a half month break from climbing over the new year whilst he was away cycling in Tasmania. And magical thinking, whilst it is the hardest route he's climbed this year, is by no means in isolation with countless other E7s and E8s to his name. So having climbed magical thinking and repeated lexicon, two of the now hardest routes in the lakes, we asked Matt what's gonna come next. I'm mostly interested in checking out Craig Matheson's route, Hard Cheese, E10 7A, just north of Pavey Arc. I've spoken with Craig extensively on the subject. It's one killer line, and it'd be a shame for it to be overshadowed by the bigger routes around the corner. At the other end of the country, Matt Helica has made the first ascent of Anna Panasati, his E9 at Doiden Point in North Cornwall. This is definitely the more adventurous end of the spectrum on a comparatively ill-frequented cliff. The rock quality, whilst good, isn't perfect, and that very much added to the challenge of the first ascent. On Instagram, Matt said, if it was a solid limestone sea cliff, for example, Pembroke, I would have probably given it hard E8 with 7C plus climbing, with a droppable 7B boulder sequence above a very big run out. But if you were to take a 12 meter fall from the crux, it would be onto a fragile hollow block, which has moved a few centimeters since I've been working the route. If the block broke off, there is a potential ground fall. So until this has been tested, I think an easy E9 is more appropriate. Is there such a thing as easy E9 or is that a contradiction in terms? Either way, we think it looks like a fantastic route and a stunning effort from Matt putting up the first ascent. 
On the note of bold bastards, we have a fantastic interview that Zar White has conducted with Tom Pierce, famed for his bold ascents on the North York Moors. Back in 2020, Tom went from climbing HBS to E7 in the space of just two months. And this interview reflects on that, as well as his more maturing approach, which is still really bold. Really bold. Click on the link here to read more.